Brass versus aluminum radiator. Brass, copper are garbage. I don't like them. I don't use them. They, for more than many reasons, when you have two, three, sometimes four dissimilar metals, just having one or two dissimilar metals creates electrolysis. Add a liquid, add a 12 volt battery, and it's almost guaranteed to leak over time. Also, the solder joints, copper brass radiators, you can't just use any coolant with them. That's why they have specific coolants that work with specific areas. Uh, for instance, the Asian coolant, it's actually meant for tap water. The universal stuff, you have to be careful there because there are five different chemical makeups of coolant. And depending on what system you have and what metals are in it uh, can work against you if you use the wrong coolant. Uh, the same thing goes when you get a engine block and you have it machined and you put these beautiful brass freeze plugs in it. Well, now you just introduced two dissimilar metals on each other, creating that electrolysis, creating that corrosion interference, and now hook a 12-volt battery, some liquid. It just goes downhill from there. So, brass, copper, solder joints, they break over time, they deteriorate, they can't flex much, they don't take an impact well, they don't cool worth a, worth a shot, and you have to paint them, which interferes with the cooling even more. I got rid of all my brass radiators. I had, a, I had a 66 Mustang radiator, I had a Chevelle radiator, I had a Nova radiator, I, I had a Torino radiator, got rid of them all, they're garbage, put an aluminum one in, they hold more capacity, they don't have two dissimilar metals, they last longer, they take an impact better without leaking, um, they take vibration better, they cool better they look better um so a couple of things to think about and they're less prone to corrode with the newer coolants out there because the newer coolants are meant for aluminum plastic metal like that now there's all kinds of of different coolant ratings and different ingredients and I'm not going to get into that in this video. I just wanted to put a short video out there. You have to read what the chemical makeup is of your coolant for the types of metal you run. Sure, you can run any coolant you want in any vehicle you want, but it's not going to last long. So just keep that in mind. The tubes in the aluminum radiators, they're elongated, okay? So it's one big tube. It may be an inch wide, it may be an inch and a half wide, it may be two inches wide for that aluminum radiator, hence the higher capacity. The uh, ambient temperature, the room temperature, outside temperature, that has a greater effect on aluminum than it does brass and copper. Brass and copper is more of an insulating metal and not a heat transfer metal. It's just the nature of the beast. Uh, the brass copper ones, you have small tiny tubes because they cannot take as much pressure as the aluminum. Because remember, when you have a high pressure cap and you have a bigger tube or bigger bigger uh, 
core section, the bigger that cross-sectional area is, the, the higher the amount of force being put on that core. The, the uh, uh, aluminum ones can withstand higher pressures, more impact, can cool better, all because of that bigger tube design and the chemical and the um, and the metal properties of aluminum. Brass copper, you're always going to see a small core, so you have less cooling ab uh, ability. You have less volume. So if you're having an overheating problem, you can go to the same size radiator in aluminum via aluminum core aluminum tanks, higher pressure radiator cap, and have twice the cooling capacity in the same package size. So just a little bit of coolant, uh, just a little bit on coolant there for this video. Uh, I hope uh, that kind of opens some eyes. And the old brass copper, that... You can you get rid of it, just scrap it. If you want to boil it down, you want to separate all the metals and do this and that and spend a bunch of, bu bunch of money on a, uh, a metal factory and have your little ingots or whatever, <laughs> go for it. But to me, they're garbage. I get rid of them. I, they're throwaways. I got a four-core aluminum radiator for that Durango. Four-core for $150 with a fan, with a cap. Okay. <clears throat> so the whole expensive thing they can get pricey but for what they do and deals are always out there if you just take the time and have patience. So, at any rate, I think I'm done making videos tonight. This is like my fourth video of the day. I'm done. Later.